Hi YouTube. Can you imagine a life without internet and social media? Or even remember life before that? I know it's hard and that's because social media is very much part of our lives. Checking our phone is probably the first thing we do in the morning and the last thing we do before we go to bed. The importance of social media is often debatable. It does have its own shares of positives and negatives. Positives being it helps us to stay connected, communicate easily, receive latest news and updates, bring awareness and many more. Along with the positives, it also brings a few negatives like cyberbullying, fake news, addiction, data privacy, etc. Let's discuss data privacy issues today. A recent study conducted by the Data Reportal says that the total world population is around 7.8 billion, out of which more than 5.19 billion people now use mobile phones. Over 4.5 billion around the world use internet. That's an increase of 298 million people in a year. Worldwide there are around 3.8 billion social media users an increase of 321 million users in a year. The average user now spends 6 hours 43 minutes online every day. That equates to more than 100 days of connected time per year. That's like 40% of our waking lives. The point is we are living much of our lives online and this creates an opportunity for the social media companies to track and save our data. I am sure you guys are already aware of this that all these websites track you on their platform. and that's why it can resurface your memories and photos from many years ago but that seems quite harmless right the fact is we don't realize the scope and depth of tracking all across the internet for example these giant companies even access and analyze our post be it public or private other websites we surf the various apps on our phones the places we visit especially if we decide to check in while we are there there is literally a digital record for everything we buy everything we watch everywhere we go and all our activity this data is then sold to data brokers data brokers are companies that collect information from public records online activities and purchase history and then resell it to other companies for marketing purposes the more these companies know about consumers the more targeted and successful they can make their advertisements so data brokers try to collect as much information as they can on top of that there are around 4000 data broker companies worldwide They analyze all of this data using different algorithms and codes to create profiles to help the marketing strategy. Let me give you an example. Have you ever seen an advertisement on your timeline or email and have been impressed by how relevant it has been to your exact interest and situations? You may have thought of it as coincidence, but come on. That kind of accuracy probably couldn't happen by chance. These data analysts and brokers profile our personalities to manage how the platform interacts with us, the kind of things that show up on our feed. They can predict our behavior, our likes, dislikes, our life patterns and what not. This huge amount of data is very useful to many companies wanting to sell us their products or organizations that want to sell an idea. While marketing is one aspect of this targeted agenda, there are other more dangerous things we need to be aware of. Our data is also being analyzed by political and social institutions. Without our knowledge, our political and social ideas are being influenced. Electoral voting decisions are being manipulated. You must have heard about the Cambridge Analytica scandal and how they allegedly helped Trump in the US elections. Reports suggest that the data analytics firm Cambridge Analytica had collected, shared and stored the data of more than 15 million Facebook users, probably without their knowledge in 2014 using a quiz app named This is my digital life. Using that data, the company is said to have determined the psychological makeup of the voters. Apparently, they also identified the voters who were confused and undecided. but look likely to swing towards the trump campaign and then they tailored the ads accordingly and targeted those voters with them this all comes down to one point when a product is free you are not the user instead you and your data are the commodity unless you delete your account or cease to search the internet there is no true way to protect all your data from social media or third party applications and if you want to use these apps then you have to give up a certain amount of information about yourself however there are ways you can safeguard your personal data Make sure to delete the cookies after every browsing session on the browser. An advanced step would be to install a software that blocks web tracking. Before installing any third-party application that accesses your Facebook profile, review all the privacy settings. If it is accessing more data than it should be, then there is a high chance it's trying to collect information. And while you are in your settings, you should also go into your privacy tab and cut back on the information you share publicly because that's the information third parties mostly have access to. Also, Read the privacy setting of the apps, online quizzes. Some of them may be too long and boring, but you will at least know what you're signing up for. 
The most important thing to know is what is being done with your data and make informed decisions on what you share online. You don't have to abandon social media, but always think before you post anything. Make sure you are fully comfortable with the fact that anything you like, share or post is being used to profile who you are. It would be good to ask yourself every time before you post something if you are okay with this being part of your digital record. Let's enjoy social media responsibly and please subscribe to the channel AIT.